Right guys, we're going to start this video here. I am back in Thailand and I'm just inside Hookup Corner. It is the morning, so things are still closed here. Um, good trip to the UK, very nice. I had, what was it, away for 12 days, two days of traveling. I had just 10 days uh, in the UK, the south of England, very nice. Uh, and then I spent some time with my parents and, and a few mates. It was nice, but you know what? I had 10 days there and I think whew, the last four days I was thinking, I wish I was back in Thailand. Uh, and when I got back to Thailand on Saturday, we had the party with June. And you know what? I thought the weather here was, it had cooled down a hell of a lot since before I left. But today, it is Tuesday now, and it is, um, I'm feeling the heat here has warmed up again. Yesterday on Monday, it was pretty um, nice. It was gray and miserable all day, just like the UK. That being said, when I was in the UK, the weather was perfect. The first day I got there was 18 degrees. That was the warmest day you'd had of the year and I went down to the south and it started raining but then when I got to the south it cleared up when I got back up to uh, Stoke-on-Trent it was warm again so I had the perfect weather I only saw rain once and that was when I went to I went to do a video about um, what's called Stokes Bermuda Triangle where there's been nine plane crashes in one area but it happened in the 1950s and as we got there I was reading on the way you know I was googling it and it was saying like the, 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 the accidents are put down to the weather and as we got there this massive storm came in and uh, we had to abort the emission uh, because I'd, I'd only got trainers on and he, and he said um, do not attempt it in uh, if you haven't got the proper gear because you can get stuck there so we didn't end up going back and I didn't end up making that video unfortunately but that was the only time I saw rain in the UK right now today's video um, what we're going to do is we're going to show you somewhere we're going to go to Soy Chaipun which we haven't been for a long time and we're gonna try some smash burgers. So I'm looking forward to that one. Now, a lot of people are also asking me, uh, I'm getting messages constantly uh, regarding Martin. I was Martin. Yes, we didn't do a show this Sunday. I think Martin, I'll be honest with you, I think he's about two weeks away from getting fully fit again. Um, he has had many tests carried out um, and they, they thought it was one problem and it wasn't. Um, he's been given antibiotics. He is a lot better but he's been treated for rheumatoid arthritis at the moment. Now, for someone like Martin to have rheumatoid art arthritis, it's pretty heavy because obviously he uses his hands and his fingers a lot, he's quite technical like that. So it's very, very frustrating for him. Now, this Sunday, regardless, we will be going live. Um, Dan pretty much knows the system now. We couldn't do it this Sunday because 24 hours notice was just, um, just too short. Well, it wasn't even 24 hours notice by the time I got back. So. This Sunday, with or without Martin, we will be going ahead with a live show. Whether that will be just members or public, I am not sure yet. Uh, but we'll, we'll see more, near the time. And we'll get a guest on. I mean, we're okay with doing it. That's not a problem. It, it's, the, it's, it's the tech side, which um, Dan has... Um, he's he's kind of learned now, but it's not as easy as people think. It's not just switching a mobile phone on. We use um, a complicated technical system and only really Martin knows it, but Dan knows it more now. Right, let's go to Soy Chayapun. Here, what and Soy Chayapun, which remember, not far away, it used to be the Hacienda just up here on the right hand side, just a few doors up. Uh, this one's called Inferno, pretty sure most of you have seen this bar. It's owned by Jimmy C. Uh, Jimmy's a nice guy, Scottish guy. I think he opened this in the lockdowns, he wasn't there before the lockdowns. He opened this in the lockdowns, he opened his sort of a ghillie bar, then he changed to food. And I believe he does really good food in here. I haven't eaten, I've seen some of the breakfast, and they look fantastic. Um, I think he even does a breakfast challenge. I was going to do that the other week, but I backed out of it. I just thought, there's no way. <laughs> and it just makes me feel awful all day. So, so I didn't bother. But since then, I've noticed that he's doing smash burgers. And he's doing about 10 or 12 different types of smash burgers. There's not many places in Pattaya that does smash burgers. I actually went for one in Stoke-on-Trent. It was called Smash on Trent. They were good. Better than sort of burgers, you know, you're regular from McDonald's or Burger King. There was a lot more flavour to it, but it didn't seem quite right. It didn't seem as if they got the crispy edge on it, uh, because as you know, they smash them and then they're sort of supposed to be crispy around the edge. Don't forget, the patties are supposed to be quite thin. Uh, these ones were, were quite chunky. And I had four like this. It was just a meat, too much meat. 
Uh, but but here, I've seen the videos and they look really good. So um, let's have a look at the menu and let's have a look at these smashed burgers. We need to order them actually, we haven't ordered any up yet. These are that new that they haven't sorted the menu yet. There's gonna be 12, 12 different types of smashed burger. What I've gone for is I've gone for the classic double smash with egg, cheese, lettuce, tomato. It's kind of there on the on the picture. It looks fabulous, by the way. And um, Dan, we thought we'd try something different. Dan's gone for the bagel smash, uh, which is this one here, the bagel smash. Like I say, he hasn't, with that new, he hasn't got the menu yet. So, we'll try it. Now look, right, um, this is going on from, remember the uh, Easy Rider Cafe, and also Prime Burger. They are the only restaurants in the area that are doing proper smash burgers. Prime Burger was the first, uh, Easy Rider Cafe, uh, uh, and now you've got here Inverna Bar, but there is a couple of others. So if you do know of anywhere that's doing smash burgers, I'm sorry, I, I just like smash burgers, guys. I like, um, I just like it, you know, instead of having one big patty for me, Rice for Kicks, Lucas, he would disagree with me on this. It's so, everything's subjective. But I don't like that big chunk of piece of meat. I, I prefer that broken down into three pieces and, and fried with onions so it's, you get more of a flavour in it. So um, we'll wait for it to come. It should be here in about five minutes. Oh! Wow. Right, the food has arrived. Um, okay, to be fair, this looks really good. Uh, and the bagel, the bagel's a double smash with egg, and you can see the egg in the middle. It's far bigger than I thought. It looks, on the picture, it looks smaller. Uh, and this one is the double smash classic. Dan has had chips with it, so you can have that. If you just come down a bit, Dan, let's have a, let's have a lift inside. Right, so the bun's toasted, how it should be. Look at all that caramelization, wow. It's a, it's a double in there. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> I can smell it as well. The smell coming off that. I won't touch this because it's Dan's. But this is a double as well. It's with the egg as well. Egg, cheese and the caramelised onion. And he's also had fries. So I'll tell you what. Look at that. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Look at this. <laughs> I don't want that. Oh, it's hot as well. Let's have a squeeze of it. Yeah. That's good. Right, okay. Let's have a taste. The taste test. Flavour. It's using good beef, Australian beef. They ground it, ground it themselves in the back. Straight away, I've got the, the crispy. Oh man, that's good, guys. That's very good. Right, I'm going to eat this and I'll come back to you with the price. Mm. That's it, guys. Um, very, very nice um, smash burgers here at Inferno. Right, prices. Uh, the, the bagel one, which was way bigger than I thought, um, and, and Dan even struggled to eat all of that. He did eat, man, managed to eat it finally. Uh, that one's 300 baht, so that's the most expensive one. The one I had, the double, um, it was just a double with cheese. It didn't come with the egg, the egg was on Dan's, because he had the full works. Uh, mine was 180 baht, so that is very, very cheap, very reasonable price. So it's 300 and 180. Uh, but the one for 300, I, I think most people are gonna struggle to eat that because it was so big. But flavour is very good, the caramelised onion, uh, the cheese and it was, it was nice melted on it and the burgers are good. It was Australian beef as well. So guys, this is Inferno Bar, Soi Chai Apoon, not far from the centre, Triangle Bar is just there, I think you all know where this is. Come and try these smash burgers. That was Inferno Bar, guys. Um, very nice. Jimmy's a nice owner as well, uh, by the way. Uh, make sure you pop along and see him, even if it's just for a drink. Um, he's a good guy. Um, and he was also telling me about um, the, the, the rents have doubled uh, up on Soy Chai Apoon. Um, I know what I used to pay at the Hacienda, but doubling it would really kill you um, there. So there's a lot of that going on at the moment in, in um, Pattaya, not just Pattaya, everywhere. Everybody's trying to get you know more money, so this has a big knock-on effect. Uh, you know, staff salaries, um, everything has to go up in price. It's, it's just when really we're trying to get prices down. So 
that's just one of them good luck to him and good luck to jimmy as well now i was just going to come back here and next door uh siso which is spelled s-e-i-s-o siso which is the new place next to lupa which is the old pig and whistle that is nearing completion so i'm hoping either in the next video or the one after we'll get an exclusive tour of it it's not open yet but it's going to open soon i know they wanted to open a month ago but there is no chance of that so but it does say coming soon um they're just not in now so i'll speak to them when we can do that also in the next couple of days we're going to go 30 minutes down the coast and we're going to go somewhere for a night i'll let you know in the next video and also we're going to be meeting up with somebody um who's had a he hasn't been on the channel for, for a while uh but i think you all know him so we'll wait for that one he'll be there in a couple of days and um you'll, you'll like him and he started up a youtube channel so wait for that in the next couple of days anyway guys thank you very much for watching this one it is kind of a short one i've just got back i'm just settling into things just trying to go everything through everything uh and now i feel refreshed i do feel refreshed after the uk it's been a nice break for me and now i'm fighting fit ready to go for the low season <laughs> and that has really bit and i can tell um i even came out to my condo on was it sunday afternoon when it's normally busy at the weekend and i was like where are the people there's no people about and also in my condo i got i got all the way down without anybody getting in the lift and that is usually a sign we are in the low season anyway guys thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one bye bye